why do new cars lose their shine so quickly? It's all down to washing and drying techniques. In this video I want to show you how I wash, dry and wax my car in just 20 minutes. My car is 3 years old and still looks like new. Hello, my name is Mike from shinynewcar.com. Welcome to my first YouTube video. The good news is that it takes me just 20 minutes to wash, wax and dry my car. Maybe once or twice a year I'll give it a much more detailed wash, but for most washes it really takes just 20 minutes. The dust on this car looks like it could be just wiped off with an old rag, but this is exactly what you should not do because it will ruin your shine. The method I use is called the multi mitt method. I use it because it's quicker and safer. I also use a pressure washer because it takes off a huge amount of dirt that could otherwise scratch my car. Break dust stains wheels. You could try to get this off by scrubbing, but this will cause your alloy wheels to lose their shine. So I like to use a wheel cleaner every now and then to dissolve the brake dust. It removes brake dust with no effort. Next step is the foam pre-wash. While the wheel cleaner is doing its thing, I'll foam my car with a special pre-wash foam. I apply the foam using my Karcher K5 full control pressure washer. This pressure washer is ideal for cars because it allows you to control the amount of pressure. It can deliver thick foam if that's what you want and you can reduce the pressure when rinsing down your car because too much pressure can damage bodywork. I use two foam cannons, one for the pre-wash and one for the contact wash, which I'll show you later. You can of course use this pressure washer for many other things around your home. Foam pre-wash is designed to be applied to your car while it's dry. You spray it on, you let it dwell for 10 minutes and then rinse it off. It's not designed to be used in your bucket wash because it doesn't offer any protection from scratching like regular car shampoo does. It's specifically designed as a pre-wash. The pre-wash foam will break down the grease and road film that is bonding dirt and grit to your car like glue. The built, this built hamburger product is probably the best in the market in my opinion. Ideally, it should be applied out of direct sunlight and when the paint is cool to the touch. While the foam is doing its thing, I can hand wash the wheels. I use regular car shampoo in a bucket of clean warm water. I use a special microfiber mitt that lets me get into the wheels easily. By now, the wheel cleaner spray has dissolved the brake dust, which makes this a quick and easy job. If the wheels have been really dirty, I might have hit them with the pressure washer first. This bucket and mitt will only be used for the wheels. Once the pre-wash foam has been blasted off, the car looks almost completely clean. 
water is beading nicely because I had applied a wax the last time I washed it. This protective wax made it easier to clean now because it prevented dirt from bonding with the surface. The car might look clean now, but if I were to let it dry I would still see some dirt, and it's not clean enough to towel dry at this point. A car needs to be as clean as possible before you towel dry it, because if it's not, it will cause scratches and swirls. A good car shampoo should provide protection as well as cleaning power. This Built Hamber Auto Wash product offers both. I like it because it's extremely concentrated, but maybe it doesn't produce as much suds as other products. I like to apply some of the product using a foam cannon before I start. This is to offer protection, but it's probably an optional step. It helps to make the surface of the car as slick as possible to minimize scratching. You may have heard of the two bucket method, but well, this is the multi mitt method. The two bucket method is good if you don't do a pre-wash stage, but because I do a pre-wash, most of the dirt that would scratch my car is already gone. As soon as the mitt gets dirty, I drop it into a dirty mitt bucket and I grab another clean mitt. Mitts are cheap. If the car was very dirty, I could use more of them, but I'm using just five today. A dirty mitt is never dipped into the wash bucket, so there's no need for grit guards or a rinse bucket. You should put almost no pressure on the mitt when you're washing your car and never ever scrub. All you want to do is loosen the bonded dirt and grease. These microfiber wash mitts grab the dirt and prevent it from dragging along your paint. A spray wax, like this one from Meguiar's, is super easy to apply. The real advantage of a product like this is that there is no buffing needed. A paste wax requires buffing, and unless you have prepared your car properly, buffing can actually scratch your paint. You simply spray this onto the wet car, the water helps to distribute it. One or two sprays per panel is all that you need. You can spray this onto glass and plastic too, but I like to avoid the windscreen. It's slightly windy today, which makes it a little difficult. This wax gives you gloss and protection, which will make your car easier to wash next time. Once applied, you simply rinse off and you immediately notice the water beading and extra shine. time to dry your car, don't let your car dry naturally because you'll get water spots. And whatever you do, don't use a bathroom towel or a water squeegee. These super plush car drying towels soak up a huge amount of water and minimize scratching. I use a detailer spray to add slickness and to reduce the risk of scratching. This Adams detailer spray also adds more shine and protection and doesn't need buffing. Probably the best way to dry your car, if you can afford one, is to get yourself a car dryer like the one in the description below. You will find links to everything used in this video in the description below. Thanks for watching.